guys, it's Steph Hendel and I'm here at Muscle Beach in Santa Monica. I was just doing a little leg workout and I figured why not get the camera out and record it so that you guys can do this leg workout too. It's gonna work every area of your legs. Front of thigh, back of thigh, butt, uh, inner outer thighs, and calves. If you don't have weights around you, I'm actually gonna use my water bottle as my weight. You're gonna repeat this workout three times and let's get started. The first move that we're gonna do is a basic squat and we're gonna do 50 of them. I know 50 sounds like a lot, but the more often that you do this workout, the easier it's gonna get in to be able to do all 50. If you wanna just start off slow, if you're not used to doing squats, then build your way up. But if you already have a strong base, shoot for all 50 of them. So when you're doing these squats, what you wanna focus on is making sure that your knees are not going over top of your toes. You want your toes facing forward, about hips distance apart, and you're dropping your butt down. As you come up, make sure you're squeezing at the top to really engage the back of your thighs, the front of your thighs, getting the most out of your move. Now is when you really wanna look at your form. Can you go a little lower? You wanna make sure that those knees don't go over top of your toes if you do, but really sink that butt down when you come down to the bottom of this squat, and then bring back up and engage at the top. Last 10 squats right here. This is where you want to find that extra power and extra strength. Our next move is a deadlift. We're going to use the water bottle for this. So grab one if you have one nearby. Make sure it's full of water so it's heavier and we're gonna do 30 of these. Your feet are facing forward and a little bit wider than hips width. You wanna keep your legs straight as you trace your water bottle down your legs. And as you raise up, squeeze at the top and do a little bicep curl. You can either do straight leg or bent knee deadlifts, but on this one we're gonna do straight leg because we wanna really isolate the backs of your thighs and your glutes, your butt, sure that you're pulling your body upward with the back of your thighs. You don't want to be pulling up anywhere else. Make sure you have a nice flat back as you go down and good time to check your form. Again, be tracing your legs with that water bottle. Don't be going out too far forward or too far backward. Just sort of like trace the line of your legs as you go down. Come back up and squeeze at that top. When you're coming into a bicep curl, you're just raising your arms at your sides. The water bottle is gonna kind of help you keep your arms close to your sides and not bow out too much. So this is a nice tool for that. So let's shoot for four more of these. Come on down to the ground, curl into a bicep curl, three more, lower and down, lift it up, two more, one more time. This is your last one, keep great form, great job. Keep that water bottle in your hand. We're gonna go into curtsy squats. So we're gonna do 40 of these starting off with our right leg. So put your right leg forward and then lunge back on the left. At the same time, you can be raising the water bottle straight forward or I'll show you a modification too if that's a little challenging. So again, anytime that you're doing a squat, you wanna be aware that you don't want your knee to go over top of your toe. So always look down and just double check and make sure you have your knee back far enough. On this one, just lunging to the back and you're really pulling yourself up with that right leg. So all the weights on the right leg and then when we switch it over, we'll even it out and it's really gonna tone up. This is for inner thigh, outer thigh. As you raise the water bottle forward, make sure to note that you don't let your arms go over top of your shoulders. Adding this arm move into the curtsy squat is going to work your shoulder muscles too. It's a compound exercise because it's combining two different muscle groups. So we're working your arms and your legs. 
and as a little bonus, you're working your abs and the rest of your body at the same time too. These are your final 10 on this side. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one right here. Now let's switch it over and even it out on the left leg. So start with that left leg forward and the right leg lunging backwards into the curtsy squat. On this one, you can mix it up a little bit. We're gonna change what we do with our arms. We're gonna extend straight forward like we did last time, and then every other one add in a bicep curl. So we're gonna do straight arm extension, bicep curl. Straight arm extension, and a bicep curl. You get the drill. Again, this move is targeting your inner thigh area. So that's an area that all of us ladies really want to tone up. And this is also engaging your balance and stability. It's not that easy to balance backwards on just one leg. So this is gonna improve your balance by doing this move more often too. Here come our last 10 right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Great job. Our next move is a bridge for the back of the thigh and the butt area. So come on down to your mat and bring your heels up towards your butt. We're gonna be lifting the hips off the ground. We're gonna do 30 of these. Each set of 10 is gonna be different. So these first 10 are gonna be done normal, then 10 on the right leg and then 10 on the left leg. Let's do three more here and then you're gonna extend your right leg upward. And if this is too challenging for you, just keep it right where you are. But if you wanna try that progression and add a little extra, Go for it. Three more and then we'll switch over to that left leg. Now that you're on that left leg, you want to shoot for 10 more of these on this side. Five more right here. Four, three, two, and last one. It's time to finish out our set with walking lunges. We're gonna do 50 of these. Walking lunges really isolate and tone a lot of different parts of your legs, especially your glutes, your quads, the backs of your thighs specifically. So you wanna always even out a squat with a walking lunge. I always try and put the two of them together, not next to each other, but in the same set. As you lunge forward, you wanna focus on not letting your knee go over top of your toe. You also wanna get as deep and as low as you possibly can. Try and touch that ground without smacking your knee. Try and aim to keep your head, your back, and your butt all in one straight line as you lunge forward. Now let's flip it around and do a few more. Okay, so even if you're feeling it in the backs of your thighs, front of your thighs, everywhere, this is the time to dig a little bit deeper and go a little bit further into the squat. So what I mean by that is lower further down with your back leg as you do these lunges. Right here, these are your last seven. So take that step a little bit further forward and lunge a little bit further towards the back as you go down.
Awesome job, guys. You should be feeling it after that and get a little sweaty. I'm already sweaty after my first set. So remember, repeat this two times. And I wanna hear from you, what was your favorite move in this workout? Leave me a comment in the section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe here if you want more videos like this each week. Give me a thumbs up. Also, find me on Facebook. And if you want exclusive content that I only send out to my email newsletter subscribers, you can go to stephhendel.com. That's like workouts, recipes, check-ins, all kinds of cool stuff. So thank you for joining me and I will see you at the next workout.